Hey, I'm Nick with OnlineBusiness.tv, and in this video, I want to talk about five different ways that you could use Zapier to integrate with Kajabi for your business. Uh, don't let the shirt confuse you. I don't work for Kajabi, though, so uh, this is just a free shirt that they give you when you hit uh, a certain benchmark of sales on the platform, like $1,000 or $10,000 or something like that, and who doesn't like free shirts, right? So I'm going to talk about some of the Zaps that we use to connect Kajabi to other platforms, but I'm also just going to share five different uh, connections, zaps that you could create with other apps, uses for your business. I and I call it Zapier. Some people call it Zapier, but I feel like you're creating zaps, so then it should be Zapier, right? It's like niches or niches. I'm not sure what the right term is. I'm gonna call it Zapier. Um, I love Zapier, it is confusing, but I've used it in a number of different ways for our online businesses. And this first example, using it to connect to your email service provider is something we do. Um, I've mentioned in other videos that I've created about Kajabi that I feel like it is the best platform for courses, coaching, your online business, all of that. But it's probably only 75% as good as the best email marketing tools or the best website tools or the best sales funnel tools. So we've used WordPress with great hosting and some different plugins and the Divi theme. And so we have not switched our website to Kajabi. Same with email, we use ConvertKit. I think it's the best thing out there. And so I haven't switched to Kajabi. I think for most business leaders, most entrepreneurs, for you, most likely, if you just did everything in Kajabi, that would be fine. You wouldn't even notice the fact that Kajabi's email is probably only 75% as good as ConvertKit's email. And again, that's just my opinion. You might use it and think it's better. It's 150% of ConvertKit. But if you don't, if you're like me and you use a different email service provider, Zapier can help connect the two. So you can connect the two so that like, you know, when somebody buys a course in Kajabi, they are subscribed to your email list in ConvertKit. So that would be one example. Another example would be to connect it to Google Sheets or something like that in Google Docs. Uh, one of the ways that I do this is we have a membership that is run in, in Kajabi. So there's an offer where you can sign up to be a member. You then get access to all our courses as well as the membership community and some other things. And a lot of things happen when you sign up for that. You know, there's a bunch of automations and triggers. Well, one of them is I use Zapier to update a simple Google Sheet that keeps track of all of our members. Because, and that sheet I use, one, it has their names and emails and all that. But really the reason I do it is because it feeds to another sheet, another tab in the same sheet um, that just gives a summary. So at any point I can pull that sheet up and I know how many members we have, how much they're paying, what's the total monthly recurring revenue. And I just love having that in one simple sheet. Now I could click some buttons in Kajabi and get the same information, mm, but not, it's not as easy, you know, and I'm just, I maybe you're like me, you love sheets, maybe not, but that's one example. You could do a lot of things with it though, uh, for different reasons. Another example is you could connect Kajabi to a credible. Uh, one of the things Kajabi doesn't do is provide like certificates, diplomas, badges, that kind of thing. If you have want to have that for your business, for your clients and members, but you can use Zapier to connect it to Accredible to accomplish that same thing and you know give people certificates for completing a course or something like that. One that we do use, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use it as much anymore. I'm really thinking about switching to YouTube Live for webinars, especially because I'm using Ecamm Live. I'm using that right now to record this video. Uh, that's what's creating this bar down at the bottom here uh, with the information. Uh, and I really like that. So I'm, I'm actually going to get away from this, but we have used Kajabi with Zoom a lot because we did a lot of Zoom webinars. We do Zoom calls. So we would use Zapier so that when you signed up for a webinar in a Kajabi form, let's say, you were automatically registered for that webinar. Or if you signed up for that webinar, you were automatically subscribed in Kajabi. Now the way we used to use it was if you subscribe via ConvertKit form, like that's how you signed up for the webinar, except you weren't signed up until Kajabi, I mean Zapier, sorry, uh, registered you for the webinar. So it's kind of like you filled out this form in ConvertKit to register for the webinar, and then Zapier is what actually made it happen in Zoom. Zoom's webinar registration is fine, but I liked having it connected to our email marketing service, right? So they're on the list, they're subscribed. Uh, Zoom would automatically send them some reminders about the webinar, but we could send them some reminders as well. So Kajabi and Zoom 
might be one reason you'll use a Zapier connection. And then another example would be Kajabi plus Deadline Funnel. So Deadline Funnel is a tool that allows you to create deadlines for offers. So picture somebody coming to your website, they say, yep, I want that free PDF. They sign up in a Kajabi form, let's say, and then you could integrate that with Deadline Funnel through Zapier and send them to an offer where they could get this special offer for 80% off, right? But only for the next 48 hours. That's, you know, I think Kajabi is going to work on creating something like that, but right now that doesn't exist, but you could accomplish that with um, uh, integration with Zapier and Deadline Funnel. So let's go ahead now and jump in, take a look at our Zapier account up here at the top. I So we're looking at all our Zaps here, but I filtered for Kajabi just to show you the ones that are involved with Kajabi. So we, I mentioned that we transitioned from Teachable to Kajabi. We still have monthly recurring payments on Teachable for people who became members when we were on that platform. And so for that reason, if somebody cancels in Teachable, we have a, a Zap set up to automatically cancel them in Kajabi. We're still trying to move everybody over, you know, here pretty soon we won't have anybody in Teachable and that won't be an issue. But for now, that connects the two. If somebody cancels in Kajabi, we have a couple Zaps here that will go through and untag them. I'm gonna click into this one so you can see it. There are a bunch of tags that we have in ConvertKit that, you know, relate to being a member. So for example, if you sign up for membership, you get tagged as a certain type of member and you know it could be your whole organization has a membership or you have an individual membership. And so in when you cancel in Kajabi, if you go through in, in your own account and you click cancel, this zap will fire off and remove that tag from you in ConvertKit so you're no longer listed as a member in ConvertKit. Because again, we send emails through there and we try to target our our members, and so that needs that needs to be updated. And I don't like to do stuff manually, so I love Zapier for that reason. Here we have. Okay, here's that I mentioned that we use Kajabi to update a sheet. So if you become a member in Kajabi, um, it uh, this one actually okay. This is one where if I become a member in Kajabi of, of our membership but I bought the entire staff membership, meaning I can add as many people from my staff as I want, well, then I'm given a form, a link to a form in Kajabi to fill out to add staff. And that's what makes it easy because in Kajabi then, it, I have an automation set up to just automatically add whoever they put in that form. So, but the other thing is, if I go in and add five people to my membership and I do it in the Kajabi form, that's great. In Kajabi, they're set. They're listed as members, they have access to everything, we're good to go. However, I want them to show up in that Google Sheet that I mentioned, and so that's what this does here. So new form submission, you know, in a new form submission in Kajabi, you have to choose your account, then you set up the trigger, right? So this is the site, and then uh, you can test it, right? And it finds a name, and then what it does is opens Google Sheets, and you gotta find that specific sheet. It's gonna create a spreadsheet row, create a new row in that sheet. You know, it has to look at which account and then which document, what's the sheet called, and it puts their name in there and all that. So pretty simple. Again, I'm a huge fan of automation, so I don't like having to do anything manual. So that's why I have that set up that way so that, um, you know, somebody adds staff, it automatically adds in the sheet. If they become a member, it adds them to the sheet. If they cancel membership, then they are removed as a member in ConvertKit. Um, if they registered for a Zoom webinar, through, but they actually they fill out a Kajabi form, it automatically registers them in Zoom. That way they don't have to fill out two forms. See, we used to have people fill out two things. You had to fill out the form, which kind of subscribed you to our list, and then you were directed to a Zoom registration form for the webinar. And who likes that? you know, filling out multiple things. So Zapier has helped us that way. I hope that has given you a good picture behind the scenes of some of the things we use in my business when it comes to Kajabi and Zapier, um, and also some ideas for what you can do in your business. If you have not started using Kajabi, but you're thinking about it, you can use my link here, onlinebusiness.tv slash Kajabi. It is an affiliate link. I do get a commission if you use that, but I would recommend it 
no matter what. If you do use that link, though, you can get some free coaching from me. Um, I'll help you however I can. Get started with Kajabi, with what I know. Uh, I'd love to help you out. You can set up a free call there. If this was helpful to you, hit like, hit subscribe for more videos about growing an online business.